Imagine if you can travel to other stars, explore new planets, and meet extraterrestrial life. The thought of it is both exciting and mind-boggling. But have you ever wondered just how far away those stars really are? And more importantly, how do we plan on getting there? Did you know that with our current technology level, it would take us over 25,000 years to reach our closest neighbouring star, Proxima Centauri? With new discoveries being made every day, the future of interstellar travel is closer than we think. But interstellar travel is not just about technology. It also raises important questions about the future of humanity and our place in the universe. How will we sustain life on long journeys? How will we communicate with Earth? What kind of impact will interstellar travel have on our society? We'll answer all these questions, so make sure to watch the video all the way through. Interstellar travel refers to the concept of travelling to other stars and planets outside of our solar system. The possibility of interstellar travel has been a topic of science fiction for decades. But with advancements in technology and a deeper understanding of the universe, it is becoming a topic of serious scientific study. But the challenges we face are immense. One of the key challenges in interstellar travel is propulsion. Currently, our fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, is travelling at a speed of 430,000 miles per hour. But to reach the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, we would need to travel at a speed of over 10% the speed of light. This is because the distance between stars is incredibly vast, and current propulsion systems are not powerful enough to cover these distances in a reasonable amount of time. Scientists are working on new propulsion systems that could potentially reach speeds close to the speed of light. Concepts such as nuclear propulsion, antimatter engines, and even wormholes are being explored. Nuclear propulsion would use a nuclear reactor to heat a working fluid, such as hydrogen, and use the resulting high-speed gas to propel the spacecraft. Antimatter engines would harness the energy released when antimatter particles come into contact with matter. And wormholes, which are hypothetical shortcuts through space-time, could potentially allow a spacecraft to travel vast distances in a very short amount of time. But it's not just the technical challenges that must be overcome in order to make interstellar travel a reality. There are also many other considerations that must be taken into account. Another major challenge in interstellar travel is the issue of communication. As we travel farther away from Earth, the time it takes for signals to reach us increases. This means that any communication with Earth would be significantly delayed, making it difficult to receive instructions or updates in real time. One solution to this problem can be the development of faster-than-light communication methods. Researchers are investigating the possibility of using quantum entanglement to transmit information faster than the speed of light. Another possibility is the use of advanced AI systems on board the spacecraft to make decisions and take actions without consulting communication with Earth. Another challenge is the issue of human endurance. A journey to another star system would take many years, if not decades, and the psychological and physical toll on the crew would be significant. This is why scientists are researching the use of cryogenic freezing to preserve the crew during the journey, as well as developing advanced life support systems to sustain the crew for extended periods of time. The two most important things which interstellar travel requires are navigation and guidance. The vast distances of interstellar space make it difficult to navigate, and the stars and other celestial objects that we use for navigation will be too far away to be of use. This is why scientists are researching the use of advanced navigation systems such as gravity mapping and the use of pulsars as natural navigational beacons. Another important aspect is the cost. The development of new propulsion systems and the construction of a spacecraft capable of interstellar travel would require a significant investment of resources. Additionally, the journey itself would be incredibly expensive and would likely require the development of new technologies to support a human crew on such a long journey. Interstellar travel would likely require the use of large amounts of fuel, which could have negative consequences for the Earth's atmosphere and climate. 
Additionally, the possibility of contaminating other planets or moons with Earth-based life forms raises ethical concerns. There are also questions about the long-term effects of interstellar travel on the human body. The journey would expose astronauts to high levels of radiation and other hazards, and the effects of prolonged weightlessness and isolation must also be considered. One more thing to consider is the issue of self-sustainability. A journey to another star system would likely take decades, if not centuries, and the spacecraft would need to be able to sustain itself and its crew for that entire time. This would require advanced systems for food production, waste management and energy generation. Scientists are researching the use of hydroponics, algae cultivation and other methods to produce food on board the spacecraft. They are also developing advanced recycling systems to minimise the amount of waste produced on board. Additionally, researchers are investigating advanced power generation systems such as nuclear power and fusion power to provide energy for the journey. The vastness of interstellar space makes it unlikely that a spacecraft would collide with any object, but it's still possible. Scientists are researching the use of advanced sensors and navigation systems to detect and avoid any potential collisions. Lastly, the scary challenge is the issue of control and autonomy. A journey to another star system would require a high level of autonomy for the spacecraft and its crew. The spacecraft would need to be able to navigate and make decisions on its own, and the crew would need to be able to handle any issues that arise during the journey. Scientists are researching the use of advanced AI and machine learning systems to increase the autonomy of the spacecraft and its crew. Despite these challenges, many scientists and researchers believe that the potential benefits of interstellar travel outweigh the drawbacks. The ability to explore other worlds and discover new forms of life would be a tremendous scientific and cultural achievement. One notable example is SpaceX, founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk. The company has been working on developing reusable rockets and spacecrafts with the goal of reducing the cost of space travel and eventually making it possible for humans to colonise Mars. SpaceX's Starship spacecraft is designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying cargo and crew to the Moon, Mars and other destinations beyond Earth's orbit. The company has already successfully launched and landed its Starship prototype several times and it's working towards its first manned mission. Another company that is actively working on interstellar travel is Blue Origin, founded by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. The company is working on developing reusable rockets and spacecrafts and has already made significant progress with its New Shepard spacecraft, which has successfully launched and landed several times. In addition to these private companies, many government agencies and organisations are also researching and developing technologies related to interstellar travel. NASA's Breakthrough Propulsion Physics program is researching new propulsion technologies that could make interstellar travel possible. The European Space Agency, ESA, is also working on developing technologies related to interstellar travel, such as the development of advanced propulsion systems and the study of exoplanets. Another company that is actively working on interstellar travel is the Planetary Society, a non-profit organisation founded by Carl Sagan and other scientists. The organisation is focused on promoting space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life. They have been working on developing a solar sail technology called LightSail, a spacecraft that uses the pressure of sunlight to propel itself through space. The Planetary Society has successfully launched and tested a prototype of the LightSail spacecraft and is now working on a larger version that could potentially be used for interstellar missions. Interstellar Technologies, founded by Japanese entrepreneur Takafumi Hori, has been working on interstellar travel for a very long time. The company has been working on developing a small reusable rocket called MOMO-3, which they hope to use for suborbital space flights. They plan to use the technology developed from MOMO-3 to eventually develop a rocket that can reach orbit and potentially be used for interstellar travel. In addition to these private companies and non-profit organisations, many universities and research institutions are also working on the topic of interstellar travel. 
They are conducting research on various aspects of interstellar travel, such as propulsion, navigation and life support systems. While the idea of interstellar travel may seem like science fiction, many companies, organisations and institutions are working on making it a reality. From reusable rockets and spacecraft to advanced propulsion systems and autonomous navigation, the progress being made in the field is exciting and brings us one step closer to reaching other stars. It is important to remember that interstellar travel is a long-term goal, but the research and development being done today will lay the foundation for future advancements in the field. If interstellar travel becomes a reality, it would have profound implications for humanity. We would be able to explore the universe and potentially discover new worlds and new forms of life. However, it is important to note that even at the fastest speeds we can currently imagine, it would still take thousands of years to reach the nearest star. So the possibility of direct interactions with extraterrestrial species is highly unlikely. But it will open up new opportunities for remote sensing of exoplanets and potential communication with extraterrestrial civilizations, if they are within the reach of our technology.